kind of caught up doing some chores and stuff, and uh, I, I thought I had more time than I did. But anyway, so yeah, welcome to the stream. I just wanted to open up this new computer with y'all and, you know, have a little chat session. No excuse. Yeah, 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 whatever, man. Uh-huh. Oh, just after I, um, yes, just after I s scheduled the stream, I suddenly felt, like, really weird and sick, and I got, like, some hot flashes and stuff. Here you go, bub. So I was just, like, I almost thought about canceling it if I didn't start feeling better. But all, all of that aside, here is... The new computer. Oh, and here's another thing that I ordered. Um, so I also want to be careful to like hide the the address on here. Um, I also ordered a pair of decent headphones and um, a broadcasting mic. So, that will be coming pretty soon. I ordered this on, like, the night of the 13th. Like, everybody threw down money so quick for my birthday, uh, and also on the GoFundMe. Like, I, I wasn't expecting to be able to put it all together right away, so this is phenomenal. Um, yeah. Definitely need the mic. Yeah, for sure. Can you not hear me again, or what? I don't know if that makes any difference, but... I don't know. Let's see. I can get, uh... Ken here? Okay. Cool. Yeah, the mic and the headphones will be a really good thing for the computer. I also got a warranty, a two-year warranty on this thing. This is the nicest computer that I have ever owned, so I'm really excited. I'm just taking out the, uh, the address so weirdos don't look it up or something for <laughs> whatever reason. Um, yeah, this is the nicest computer I've ever had. It is refurbished, so it's like, so, so it's like, nicer than what I paid for it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And that made it so that I could order other stuff. Okay, it's got a, comes with a mouse pad, that's kind of cool. Um. I'm going to toss that over by my other electronic gear. Alright, look at this. This is, like, big. I wonder how big this fucker is. I guess I, I didn't really, like... I didn't really look too hard at the actual dimensions, because I was just like, you know what, whatever it is, I'm going to make it work, because... I need to, um, the size doesn't really matter as much to me as its capabilities, so it's got an i7 processor, and, um, a decent size solid state drive, I can't remember offhand how big it is, um, and it's got a lot of RAM. And uh, there was somebody that left a review on it that said, like, I got this specifically so that I could edit videos on Premiere Pro for a TV series, and it works just fine. Great for the price. So it's an HP. It's kind of cool. I like that they used paper to pack it and not a bunch of plastic. That's nice.
It is pretty big. Wow. I've never had a computer this big. It's kind of awesome, but also like a little daunting. I'm so minimalist in my life. Uh, I probably should plug this in. So I'm, I'm always trying to get like the smallest stuff, but with it this big, I can see it a lot better when I'm editing, so I don't hate it. Now, it's like if I really end up not, um, not digging it for whatever reason, I can return it, but I, 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 I don't know what I would exchange it for. There was nothing comparable within the price range, so, um, I mean, <laughs> I could hunt around some more. I just wanted to get something so I could start editing, though, because I think it's kind of, uh, kind of important that I keep, keep working on stuff. Okay, where's, first off, where's the on button? I'm not, okay, there it is. I know you're supposed to, like, make sure it's fully charged before turning it on for the first time, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is big. Look at this. This is like a proper computer. With the i7 Intel Iris X graphics card. Wow. Super cool. Yeah, you guys uh helped to make this possible. Brittany says that's the same laptop as my work computer. Twinning. What do you do for work? What do you use it for? That's that's awesome. Yeah, it's big, dude. It's like this is like a, a television set almost to me. Oh, cool! It's got backlit keys. Just a moment. I better plug this in. Let's see. Where is? There it is. over there. United States. Enter. Let me get my battery pack. Where is my battery pack? There we go. I'm plug it in here so I don't have to get a extension cord or anything or go over to the wall. I can stay where I'm at. This battery pack is what I use when I'm doing my editing, just like, out in the middle of nowhere, um, charge it off my car when I'm driving it. I do wish that I could, I wish that I had a solar panel that was compatible with this so I could charge it in the sun when, when I don't feel like driving my car to charge it, but when I'm actively traveling, it's... It's not such a big deal, because I'm doing, like, you know, a couple hours of driving a lot of days. Or I can plug it into a wall if I happen to be, like, at a campground or something. Alright. Ooh. This is so exciting. This is also the newest computer I've ever had. I've always gotten, like, older, second-hand ones. Like, all of the computers that I've been editing my videos on over the last many, many years were, like, um, like, 200 bucks or under. Actually, I think all of them were $200 or less. Because that's all I could ever, like, muster together, you know? Okie dokie. Is this the right keyboard layout or input method? I, I don't know, I guess. You're not showing me a picture of it. There we go. Yes. U.S. I'm American. Want to add a second keyboard layout? Uh, I don't know. Maybe someday. Connect you to a network. Connect.
Eat. I'm gonna roll a cigarette. Thanks, Lee Fox. I appreciate that. I'm really excited. I'm a configuration analyst. I have no idea what that means. But if the computers work good for what you do, then that's very encouraging that I made the right financial decision. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't drop that kind of money on just anything. This, this ended up being like 780 and then I also got the warranty, the two-year warranty, which was like 80 bucks also. Um, and then I, I was gonna like splurge on a much nicer mic and pair of headphones, which obviously, you know, technology costs so much, but for like a really, like a de standard decent mic, and headphones like each would be about a hundred dollars like starting that would be like the lowest cost for something decent but i i found some that are comparable to some of those like nicer professional quality stuff and um i got a used mic so that ended up being like 40 bucks and the headphones are they seem like they might be one of those rare, actually pretty decent over-ear headphones that are just cheaper uh, for whatever reason. I, I spend a lot of time shopping around, so I'm hoping that they'll do fine. I don't need, like, I'm not recording in, like, a studio or anything. I'm just doing playback on my, on my videos. Alright, next. This is already a much nicer kit and setup than I've ever handled, so I'm really stoked. And I can't wait till the other things come in. New PC. Got- yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be until like Tuesday or Wednesday. But, um, I checked the tracking this morning and it said it was going to be here by the end of the day, so here we are. Now I get a little bit of extra time. I thought I was going to be sitting around just like putzing this weekend, not knowing what to do with myself. Except for go over my gear, which I've, I've been doing today. I've been just like sorting through the stuff that I left here on the porch. Um, and I got some new pants today because I haven't had pants since my last pair of Carhartts crapped out. But yeah, I got, I got new ones. They're pretty much the same as my old ones except uh, a little smaller in the waist and... Uh, darker colored I like them a lot and they're nice and crisp <laughs> nice and crisp oh and I went to a thrift store the other day and I scored uh, a nice Columbia jacket that I'm gonna be using for work next month and it cost me six dollars <laughs> it's a nice jacket like that's the jacket that I got, it was probably originally like a $60 jacket or so. Probably more, maybe like a $70, $80 jacket. Just like six bucks. Thank you very much. That is why thrift stores roll. Fuck getting new clothes, man. Seriously. Only reason I got a new pair of Carhartts is because... I looked at the thrift store for some, like, decent work pants or something that I could pay five, six bucks for also. Um, but all they had was, like, cheap dress pants. You know, like, the kind that nobody looks good in. And, um, like, blue jeans, which I do not wear blue jeans. It's just not my style. So, um, and, and I couldn't go another day without having a proper pair of pants to wear. And 100%, I do not buy pants from Walmart. If you buy pants from Walmart, stop and buy them from Tractor Supply instead or a workwear store or, like, Target, literally anywhere else. Because Walmart pants make everybody look like a dumbass. Sorry. Um, you, but you heard it from me. Um, I'm just telling you because I care about you. Don't. Don't wear pants from Walmart. They're hideous. And everybody can tell. <laughs> Sorry. Um, literally anything else. There's Nobody looks good in Walmart pants. They make you look like... Yeah, anyway. Um, 
It's like eating at McDonald's. Every time you eat at McDonald's, it, like, degrades you as a person. It, like, it, it just, it does. It's just a fact. It's science. I don't make the rules. Great that you've got some equipment that can further your art. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I appreciate everybody that threw down uh, so that this could happen. I'm just like, I'm still kind of in in awe that we're we're here right now. This is a big ass computer too. I think I should stick with it. Like the the minimalist in me wants to like get another teeny tiny one like like I'm used to, but. Oh, what should I name? It's asking me to name this device. What should I name my computer? Help me come up with names for it. Whoever, uh, wait. I don't know. I feel like, uh, it's gotta be some kind of, like, contest or raffle, but I don't, I don't feel like waiting for it. Well, my old GoPro was named the Wastelander, and... My new GoPro is called Vagabond, so Wanderer is good, but not quite there. It's, it's, uh, it's in the same vein, though. Kismet Olsen says, I absolutely love you. Aw, thanks. Appreciate that. Love y'all, too. Nomad, that's a good one. But like, I don't know, what about Rover? No, that's, that's like the Mars Rover. They really, they really have a monopoly on that word now. Nomad seems a little obvious. Crust Punk, that's a little on the nose. Toxic Crusader, I don't know about that one. <laughs> um, hmm... Hmm. Chance, that's cute. Seeker, that's that's a good one. Huh. What if I call it like <laughs> Something that'll make it sound like I do something fancy, like I call it the production company. And then I'll be like, oh, cool, I'll take that footage to the, to the production company. And people will be like, oh, fancy. <laughs> I'll take it to my, um, uh, I'll show it to the board. I'll name it the board. Mm. I'm going to name it the business. Here we go. The business. Uh, yeah, sure. I can always change it later. Next. Can't contain, oh. No more than 15 characters, no spaces. Damn. Okay. We'll do the compound. It's Windows. Um, I'm not versed in Linux, but yeah. Hmm. I could give it like a human name. I'm gonna name it Deirdre. There we go. Next. Thank you, Deirdre. That's my, um, my, my secretary. Good old Deirdre. It's not pink, though. Why do you keep saying pink? It's, it's silver. Somebody else said pink, too. That's funny. <laughs> LA Studio. That's actually pretty funny. Pull it up. Uh, yeah. Bring it to the studio. How's it going, Tyler? I run Linux. It's not the end-all be-all. Yeah, I, I have considered it, but I'm familiar with Windows. I'm not doing like real techie shit or anything on this. I do have a bunch of cool programs and stuff on my hard drive that I can upload to it. Uh, 
Oh, I should have named it my secretary. <laughs> Here we go again, productions. That's funny. The office. All right. I named it Deirdre, though. Sign in. Oh, yeah. I was thinking it'd be kind of fun to do like a Cornelius Reacts type videos where I can watch stuff that I can't show on YouTube anyway on my computer and then I can just like, you know. I was talking to Tom about this last night, like I could watch like really nasty shit like Two Girls One Cup or like, you know, bad, bad stuff that you really can't show online and then just be like, oh man, that's fucked. Um, let's see, that's not right. I don't know, people like those react videos. Shit, what's my fucking password then? Okay. <laughs> we were talking, we were playing uh, Would You Rather last night at the campfire and like, it started going to like really nasty stuff like old poop and porn snuff film type gross shit like would you rather you know do this thing that you know and reference some heinous thing so that's kind of what got me thinking about that because <laughs> there was this uh, I'm not gonna explain it too much in detail but there was this video that I was trying to remember where I saw it you know like you got all those old like Rotten.com and like ogreish and shit, and I was, I was remembering this one video about like the toilet man where basically he, I don't know how to describe this in a way that's not gonna get me like instantly <laughs> banned or whatever or like, but yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. He's the toilet man. He likes to eat turds, and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty gross. But yeah. Okay, let's see. What the fuck? Yeah, I can't remember mine. I can't remember any of my information right now. Does that ever happen to y'all? Anytime you have to sign into stuff, actually, for the first time, suddenly you have no idea what any of your passwords are. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to finish setting this up after I'm done with the stream, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty great. I'm excited to have this, and I'm really excited to start looking at my footage and stuff. Hey, Satan. Look at this baby. Still crunching. Man, these treats are so stinky. Satan, you just love the stinky, gross treats. Ew. Gross. Yeah, these ones smell like rotten buttholes. Seriously. Some weed. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm like so low energy right now. Like, I don't know what's what's going on. I just suddenly felt like kind of sick a little bit before the stream. I hope I'm not getting what's going around because that would be super annoying. I ain't got time for that. But I don't feel that great. <laughs> I ate and stuff, and, um, you know, drank a lot of water and did all the healthy things that you're supposed to do, and, you know, just feel weird. I've been getting, like, a weird tickle at the back of my throat. I don't want to manifest anything. 
but yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm just gonna smoke weed now. Fuck, I'm so stoked. I can't wait until those other parts um, come in and oh yeah, I've got all of my my other stuff that I mailed to myself still in here. I haven't opened it yet because I didn't want to lose anything or get uh, get all discombobulated and stuff, but once I get this set up, I'm going to pop these memory cards in and I'm going to start looking over my footage and organizing it into different files so I can kind of have a better setup for when I do start editing and um, just come up with some ideas for how I'm going to put it together because it's like when you're when you're actually out there and like filming and doing stuff it's really hard to know what's going to happen next like you can have an idea of how things are going to go in your head and kind of just like follow the plot and get video when you can but like sometimes in real life things don't follow a plot and shit just happens and then like what do you do about the continuity <laughs> uh, so yeah that'll be interesting there's a few videos that I'm sure will kind of just fall into place um, that went like totally how I wanted them to but you know we'll see mega dose of vitamin C yeah that's not a bad idea COVID going around bad right now. Yeah, I hear a lot of people been getting sick around here too. Oh, I'm so glad for this weed. I've been looking for my damn vape all day and I can't find it. It's driving me crazy actually. Because I, I literally just bought that yesterday because the old one that I had stopped working and they only had like really nice ones. So, you know, it was $20 instead of 10 which, if it was just like, this one was like, this is the broken one, um, this one was like 8 bucks, and now it's not working, I guess you get what you pay for. But damn, then I, then I actually spring for a, a decent one and I lose it immediately, you just can't win. Well, cheers anyway. Ooh, I do have... Some of these, though. Okay. Whoa! That landed right behind me. <laughs> Okay, see that's why when you pop a bottle opener, uh, open, you don't want to point it at your face. Always point it away from you, and away from your friends' faces, because sometimes those things pop off pretty, uh, pretty aggressively. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna pop this little, little box open, too. So I got my old phone, which this time it's not completely trashed because I have the uh, the good case on it. If you are accident prone like me, or even if you're not, there's really no reason to not have your phone in a good case because this you can see that's one spot where it saved me from having to buy a new phone for sure. Um, and there's other dings and scratches on it. it saved me a lot of money. And then I've got, there's my old camera. This is what I've been using all summer. It's a uh, GoPro Hero Max, which is great, and I enjoyed it a lot, but um, the lenses got so scratched to hell 
There's lens covers that come with them, but they are also kind of fucked. So I guess that might be one problem that I do have. It's awesome because you can get like the true 360 videos. Um, but you can't when you have like the, the lens cover on it. Because it like, it's got that ridge or whatever. Uh, or, it, you know, the quality suffers at least. And like these lenses just stick out like that so much um and that's how they get the 360 view but they're just really vulnerable sitting out there like that so that's what fucked me over these got like hella scratched up and dinged up really bad um so a lot of my footage is going to be kind of fucked and oh cool i set myself a patch Hornets of Murder 2020. <laughs> my friend gave me some patches that her friend made. Okay, here's my... My memory cards. The shit is, like, also very vulnerable. It's, it's hard to, like... I, I was just so sketched out that one of these would fall out of my stuff at any point during my trip. Um, I mean, they're just, like, this big, and the card is that big in there. I, uh, I had a couple of scares where I thought I didn't put my, my bag back in my other bag and, like, left them behind. That would have, like, I would have lost so much footage. That would have been some real shit. Hey, stickers. Nice. Oh, cool. I forgot about that. So, Rat Ostrich sent me the Cheese Dog Mafia sticker, and he also got a, a Dave Lowe sticker. That's awesome. And sent those to me. With the gear that he sent me. There's this cool little stand, too. Uh, I didn't carry it in my backpack because I didn't need it. I didn't want to take an extra little thing, but... This will be really handy, like, if I'm in the car and trying to stream, or take video or something. So I'm excited about this. Hell yeah. Alright. We're doing good. Let me make sure I put that all back together now so I don't lose anything. It's not a tattoo, man. That's a zit sticker. You you put them on your zits and then they like heal them. <laughs> and then people don't have to look at your gross zits too. Uh kinda cool. It is a good excuse to put a sticker on your face. I'll, I'll admit that. It really is. If you're going to have a zit, you might as well make it cute. And I found the black stickers, too. I've never seen black ones before. They're always, like, cute cute colors, like pink or teal or whatever. So yeah, what I'm, what I'm, I guess planning in the near future is um, for the rest of the weekend I'm going to be going through my gear and making sure that I have what I need and nothing more. Anything that I'm not needing anymore I will leave behind or, you know, bring to somewhere so I'm not leaving stuff for other people to deal with. And repacking the car, got an alignment on Monday, and I'm just waiting on a few more pieces of mail, like the rest of that gear. Going through my stuff won't take that long, I really don't have that much stuff, but I do want to clean my car, and, um, and then after the last of my mail comes in, then I'll be thinking about heading out, and then we'll get back to 
random ass adventure streams where you have no idea where the fuck I'm going to be when I go live. Because that's fun. For a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of adventuring with the Ronin again. Because... It's, it's a lot easier to get more supplies out to remote places that you could walk to, but it takes a lot longer. Um, especially if you're carrying a lot of supplies. So then I'll be able to, like, you know, post up at weird spots for a day or two and just, like, party it up in bandos and shit. It's, like, the best. <laughs> it is. Although that... That Bando warehouse out in New Jersey was pretty dank. I enjoyed that a lot. The location was pretty decent, too. Oh, hey. Mo, thanks for the kickdown earlier. And... I can't see the name of the person who kicked down on PayPal, but, um, because I can't click on the notification or it'll kill my stream, but thank you so much. If that was you, uh, you know who you are. Appreciate it. And I'll send you a thank you note after the stream. Ooh, that's stale coffee. I don't know why I went for that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Alright. Well, I guess, I don't know. It's a good, uh, good unboxing video. I guess I'm gonna pack a bowl here and then I'm gonna fuck off because I want to get back to setting up this computer. I'm really excited now. But we'll, uh, we'll spark one first because I'm not stoned enough. Get in there. I love how I can hear the the trains passing through town from here. It's a very soothing sound. It's like soothing, but it also makes me really, really restless, I guess. Every time I hear that that train rolling through, I want to catch one. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> Satan says send a kick down. Hell yeah. If the uh, if you want to, there are links in the description. I'm not really like doing much of a performance, so I don't feel super entitled to strongly suggest that you kick down to my PayPal or Venmo and be a real sweetheart. But you could if you wanted to. Um, I'm not really providing much for content other than that. Uh, well, we looked at some cool stuff, I guess. But yeah, anyway, there's links in the description. There's also merch. If you're new to the channel, I do a lot of other stuff as well. And I've got a ton of edited videos that I feel very, very happy with and proud of. So, yeah, you should hit the like button and the subscribe button and go to my homepage and scroll around a bit and catch up to the, the storyline, as it were. Or join the Discord server if you've never done that, because it's a good time. Mm-hmm. Yup. I think I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. I'm like... I don't know. I don't know what my deal is. I just feel weird. Maybe maybe it's the antibiotics. <coughs> That's probably what it is, actually. Because <coughs> when I got here, I was just, like, covered in bug bites and cuts and scratches and poison oak. Um, and my, my wounds were getting, like, irritated and progressively worse at a certain point it becomes obvious like 
okay, you know, um, my body needs a little bit of help here, so I started a, a, a round of Keflex, Mexican import Keflex. Um, so, yeah, that, that will make you feel a little weird sometimes, but it'll save you a trip to the hospital a lot of the time. That's why I keep it around. <laughs> Do it anyway. Satan will love you for it. Hell yeah. You ain't wrong, Captain. You ain't wrong. It's just a good thing to do. All proceeds go directly to our Dark Lord. Satan! Dark Lord! Satan! 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 I don't want to be too loud and scare people. Mostly the neighbors. My my homies would understand, but I don't want to scare the neighbors. You gotta get volume to a, a black metal screen to hit certain pitches, you know? What? What? I know, she wants to play. I should probably just throw the ball for her. She's a fucking spoiled cunt. Do you know that? You guys are enabling this, too. You're enabling it. She knows that... I can't... I can't... Tell her to fuck right off in front of company. She's got me in a fucking vice. You got me under your heels, Satan. She's got a foothold on my soul. I'm her slave. Yeah, fuck you too. I'll clean that up in a little bit. Oh, thank you for getting the door. I appreciate that. Oh, trick shot. That bounced off the tree. Let's go further out. Come on, pup. God, it's nice out. You still peeing? Wow, you really had to pee. Maybe that's what she was trying to tell me. No. Come here. Drop it. Yeah, it's gorgeous out here. I could take y'all for a little walk out back, I guess. Still got like 15 minutes or so. Make a full hour, why the fuck not? We'll go for a little nature walk. Satan, drop it. Yeah, it would be nice to have a decent mic. Then we can actually get some uh, AM ASMR aspects more so. You can only catch so much of the ambient noise with a basic ass mic. Yeah, it's a pretty big property. Very nice. It goes further. It's just really, really long. It's a super long prop. But it goes down to the creek. Satan, drop it.
Come on, bub. Oh, Aaron was a fan of the campfire ASMR. That's awesome. I should do more of that. Just do a bunch of shorts of like sounds that I like. I love that kind of shit. Satan dog is got it going on. Drop it. Hey, right here. Nice. That's pretty cool. Hey, drop it. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll do a minute long ASMR then. I just don't know what the kids these days like, you know? Not like that matters. Particularly, you lost it. Yeah, I'll show you all where that fire was. All right, we're gonna put this up for now, dude, because I'm over it. Also, we're going in the woods, I'm not gonna throw it in there. Because you're going to run into poison oak or something and give me more of it. Nope. Come on, let's go. Come on. I'm serious. Let's go. Now. Come on. Satan here. You here now. What a jerk. Yeah. Come on. Oh, hey, it didn't drop. Nice. There we go. Now we're chilling. She's really, really fixated on the ball. So I gotta leave it behind or else that's just like all she's gonna do. But if we leave it, then she will have a fun time and sniff around and not be obsessed with the ball. Hey, bub. Come on. This is where the campfire was. <laughs> Reaper's rolling on her back for the belly rub. Nice. Yeah, this cool guy. That's, whoa, that's still burning from last night. Damn. I mean, I'm not that surprised. It was a big fucking log. Yeah, and then the creek's down there. But a lot of, like, east of the Midwest, there's just all of these deep ravines along most rivers, like any river. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it wouldn't even be worth scrambling down. This is nice. Oh boy. Hey, what's up, Terry? What do you want to do, Satan? I know what you want to do. <laughs> All right. I'm going to head back up to the house and uh, go finish setting up that shit. I'm really excited. 
and thank you. Feel free to hit the thumbs up button on your way out. Also the like and subscribe. If you are interested in this kind of content, that would be awesome. Because you never know what's going to happen next. Thank you for joining me. Satan thanks you. Have an excellent rest of your week.